live, I guess. Howdy, folks. Uh, welcome to the Drink Spin Run uh, Twitch stream and game casty stuff, uh, actual play junk. Um, tonight, we have a really fun experiment. This is our alt night game, by which we mean when we don't have, when we can't get a quorum of players together for something like RuneQuest or any of the other games we may be running. Uh, we will instead be playing Dwimmer Mars. And uh, Dwimmer Mars, a couple of things to know about it. It is, um, obviously it's based on James Malajewski's uh, Dwimmer Mount, uh, Mega Dungeon. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, I can, can you guys hear Stan in the background? Yeah, I can hear Stan singing. Yeah, uh, I might have to be a dad here in a second. Sorry, guys. Uh, how okay. dare you? I know. I know, right? Um, or how dead you? And, oh. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. That's nice. Um, so, what, what what I was saying. Right, so it's James Malachewski's, uh Dwimmer Mount... Um, dungeon but mega dungeon but set on mars or kind of mars is this is more of a barsoomian-esque uh sort of setting um uh, and though dwimmer mount was originally run written to be run with labyrinth lord uh we will instead be running it with a very stripped down od and d kind of thing um using lots of warriors of the red planet as influence and source material as well as um my backup source for like hey what should od and d be like i go to delving deeper so this is a serious frankenstein hybrid osr thing what matters is the rules are super simple there's some that i made up what else do you expect from me? Um, tonight, we have uh, two uh, sword-swinging Earthmen shot from the uh, through the rail gun, the celestial rail gun that is the Eiffel Tower, fresh from the 19 1889 Parisian uh, Exposition Universelle. Uh, we have uh, my brother, Phil. Phil, what can you tell us about your character? What are you playing here in Dwemer Mount? Uh, I am playing an Austro-Hungarian, uh, army lieutenant who was there to look at, who was at the World's Fa World's Exposition to look at weapons. Okay. Because he was a field armorer. All right. And also with us tonight hey. is Mr. Gabriel perez Gashardi. Gabriel, you have a very interesting character. Uh, what do we, what, what can you tell us about, uh, your character? Well, um, I'm playing... Alfonso Barsali is a uh, is from Roma origin. Um, he's actually um, a gypsy circus uh, strongman, Ooh. and um, but that's a cover up. He's actually a, a wrestler, Greco-Roman wrestler, and a fugitive anarchist. That's right. Excellent. Fantastic. So, uh, since we only have two players, one of the things that we did talk about before getting rolling here is uh, we talked about um, you kind of beefing up the, uh, the, the character count here with some hirelings. Now, Gabriel, uh, Fonso has some gold left over yep. from... What did he do to earn his gold when he got to Telluria? Well, being the being a strong man, he um, helped the uh, locals in uh, building his uh, their the village, and he's in the construction business now. <laughs> <laughs> One time anarchist, he used to throw bombs. Now he throws lumber. All right, or bricks. Yeah. He throws... Wait, he throws lumber. He's that kind of construction worker. Sure. Why not? YMCA kind of. <laughs> No, come on, Phil. Oh, no, no. No. Is that it? No. That's what throwing lumber means, man. Okay. I, I, you have clearly far better knowledge of modern gay slang than I do. I, I hadn't heard that. Of course I do. Yeah, yeah. The Chicago is uh, the home of the, uh, the gay bar called The Manhole. So. Which uh, didn't exist and now exists again. It did, or at oh. least did exist again for a while. So you have the chance to uh, set up one in Mars. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, Gabriel, my question for you. So here's it's going to cost five gold to uh, to look for hirelings. You could spend an additional five gold to hire out. You know, one of the the blue Tellurian um, uh, dudes. What are they? Uh, like a yeah, a crier. You want to do that? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so this is spending ten gold to find some henchmen. Here's what you find. Uh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So there are two torch bearers. All right. Um, one's name is Durig. The other one is Golmat. Uh, Durig. Uh, ooh, man, Durig. Is uh, seems to be pretty well armed for just a good old fashioned link boy. You know, he has both a dagger and a fine fighting axe. He doesn't carry a sword, um, you know, which you know is a big deal uh, here in the world of Teluria. Uh, Golmat, let's see, Golmat was a miner and now he's decided to take his finely tuned mining, uh, holding the torch for the miner skill, and, you know, use it here in Dwemer Mars. Um, there are two men-at-arms. One is Durton. Durton um, wears chainmail and a shield. Uh, he has uh, both a dagger and a sword, um, and he, though he seeks uh, glory, you could tell he seems to be a bit of a whiner. Um, Goldick, uh, who we wears leather and wields a light crossbow and a dagger, um, you know, his, his armor is really like, uh, very, you know, very poorly kept. It's, you know, it's pretty cruddy. Um, and you know, you, you're pretty sure that he got it from skinning some of the, the weird animals that are, are found here on Teluria, you know, and sewing it up together himself. Uh, he has exceptionally small hands. Um, there is also, uh, Donald. I'm sorry, like Donald. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, there's also two guys who are available. Uh, one, uh, one guy, uh, he, um, uh, one guy named Larbix has a shaved head, um, and with piercings and labrays all over his face. Um, these are all blue Tellurians, by the way. Um, he has, he is armed with nothing but a club. Uh, and you know how you guys all have like the, or he has one of those cool Tellurian war, war harness things that you guys have. Oh, um, fancy. Yeah. And it like goes through like, like, um, like he's got nipple piercings and it runs through like the, the nipple piercings and shit like that. And you know, That's he's so like, dangerous. yeah, he's all kinds of freaked yeah. out and his eyes are just pure white. Now this guy is a mentalist. Unfortunately, you don't have enough money to, oh, you can ah oh, you can hire an, uh, him, but you have to um, promise him a third of your share of the treasure. Sure. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There's also a uh, scientist named Baldo who is uh, a mercenary scientist who uh, is available as well. He wears no armor because he's a scientist. Um. So. Please. The the oh. torchbearers and oh. men at arms can be hired for two or three gold a day, um, and the humans or sorry the 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 first level guys the scientist and the mentalist can be hired at a third of your your treasure share. Um, say we take the the, the torchbearers and the men at arms. Okay. And and the mentalist. Ooh. Hey. Hey, we can bargain. Can we bargain and lower down to like a like like? Uh... Well, you have to make a charisma roll to see if they accept your offer. So, what are you offering to each? Now, the, the suggested rate of pay is three gold a day for the torchbearers and men at arms. What's what, what's your charisma feel? Because my guy, he's uh. Who's doing uh, the pain? Eleven. I'm doing the pain, and uh, and. The person who's doing the pay, the the person whose pay they're on is going to be doing the the. Uh, oh. I got a charisma five, so I'm. Uh. Just, uh, punch him if he doesn't like the offer. Okay, so uh, <laughs> what's your charisma feel? 
Uh, it's eleven. Okay, I give you the money, and you do the talk. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, I'll I'll let, I mean, it, I'll let it flow this time. Phil, what's your? Uh, okay. Okay. No. No. That, that's okay. Let's let's do it. We're gonna do it fair. Okay. Let's play. Uh, let Let's play fair. Okay. I give you the roll. <laughs> Remember, you're just. It's gonna be two d six minus one. That's it. Because you know that oh, much. I was going to roll on the on the on the die on the character sheet. Does it, or no, no, just roll two d six minus one since that's your charisma adjustment. Okay, just I'm I'm offering um, I, I'm hiring the the men at arms and the torch, torch bearer for what they ask, but I'm. Oh, okay. Trying to lo to lower the percentage of, of the other guys. Okay. Like, like... Of the treasure. Okay. Six minus one. Ten. Wow. Um, what do you offer him instead? Is Brasco here? No, no. he's in roll twenty. <laughs> yeah, he's in roll twenty. Okay. Uh, so, um, so what are you? What are you? What are you offering him? Um, the mentalist. Why? Why is he? he you said he, he doesn't. Uh, so Did every time, yeah, money? every every time you ask him, you know, why he wants to go into the dungeon, whatever, um, he gives you a different answer. A different answer. Yep, every time it's a different answer. Okay. Um, he, he he can take the. So mentally, I I are like. Oh, casters like yeah, they're they're kind of clericky. They're cl <laughs> they're kind of clericky. Yeah. They're kind of not, you know. Uh, okay. They're kind of wizardy. They're they're psionicists, right? They're they're brain mm -hmm. powers. Okay, I offer them like twenty percent, and they can keep any thing related to their uh, area of knowledge. So thirty percent is just shy of uh, of the. Th the third of your treasure, you know. So if you want to, you know. Okay, ten percent and anything they can, they 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 find we find that uh, that falls into their areas of interest or knowledge. Okay, what about half, half of the or half the difference? So twenty percent of your share. Okay, you do it. Okay, they'll accept twenty percent. So we're, t we're taking the we're taking Labrick. Right, Larbix. Oh, have... Lar Larbix is yes. Larbix. Okay. All right, cool. Um, you know what I should do? I should just copy this guy. And what was the name of the other, the second Minotaurm? No, the first Minotaurm. Uh, Durton and Goldick. Durton. I'm getting smart about how I do this. <laughs> Except I didn't get as smart as I thought I had. Hey, Craig is here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Craig Brasco. How you doing, sir? Hey. I'm doing well. How are you? Doing great. You're, so your wife came Sorry, home, I'm huh? Late. Yeah, no, it's no big deal. Yeah, she did. Uh, so we're playing it smart and getting some henchmen. Oh, good. Okay, and he has this is the guy who was a miner. He has just a dagger, right? Okay, cool. I just uh, thought he has uh, his mining pick. No, he has a dagger, not a mining pick. He doesn't. He had to leave that back in the mine. I do have to change that part though. His name is not that. It is Golmat. So. Craig, 
tell everybody a sure. little bit about your character and why you are here advent or you know what you did before you got shot through the space cannon uh let's see i am kingsley bridger oh, yeah. uh member of the royal society man of science excellent <laughs> i came to the world fair because of my interest in electromagnetic fields uh it's a it's on the cusp of science don't you know right and uh yeah so he of course wanted to see this eiffel tower marvel of architecture um and was uh invited to go to the top Very and cool. here i am on this strange planet yeah this crazy place all right yeah and it's a good thing i brought my trusty inventions oh, that's right you do pockets. have some cool inventions what is your you have uh what kind of cool inventions do you have well i have this um uh it's called the tri electrode and it's like this it looks like a, a wand basically but it's got this weird um kind of uh claw shaped thing on the end that uh I spent a lot of time thinking about went, this not really <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you activate it <laughs> when you activate it it's got this little uh glowing ball that shows up inside the claw and then when i hit this other button it Kind of releases it, and it's just a, it's like a ray of energy. It's mostly destructive in nature for the moment, so and then right. um, a similar technology. So um, you, you invented the taser, basically. Sort of, except that it, it yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess that's what it is. And um, then uh, this other device I have creates an electromagnetic shield around my body. Ooh. That uh, lasts for a short period of time, but it protects, it slows the inertia of incoming attacks. That's protecting me somewhat. So there you go. Cool. Nice. Great. That gave me enough time to get in all of our henchmen. That's good. Yeah, uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's only only partially true. So uh, we do. I do have to get the uh, the mentalist guy in. Um, okay. So let's see here. Here's what makes sense to me. He's going to get one uh, mentalist power, right? So elect someone for Gabriel you're the one you're the one hiring these guys so you roll me a d6 six six okay Ooh. I'm gonna let you guys choose the mentalist power that this guy has oh um is there a list? Uh... Yes, uh, in the Red Warriors of the Red Planet, oh. uh, which we made sure everybody had. Um, yeah, sorry. It um, is on page 18. Uh, control person, forced healing, loaded glance, mind bullets, minor telekinesis, minor telepathy, somnolence, or spiders! <laughs> That's a toss-up between force healing and spiders, or somnolence. Oh, I or somnolence. somnolence. Yeah, yeah. That's a sleep spell. I would take it. I said somnolence because he for keeps forgetting. He keeps saying different things. So he's. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just organizing things a little bit. Okay. So. Um, you organize your party, get everybody ready to head out to Dwimmer Mount. It is only a short six-mile trek from Munber to Dwimmer Mount. Um, but it is a long, long climb up the stairs uh, that the carved in the side of the mountain. Um, so I need someone else, other than Gabriel, to give me a D6. Okay. Sorry. Somebody, anybody, Craig, you talk last. You do it. Two. Two. Okay. So, um, you guys uh, start. Hold on just a second. I got to roll something on my own. Um, oh. 
We make uh, sure that Torch Bearer has uh, enough um, torches. Yeah, well, you got two of them, right? You got two Torch Bearers? Yeah. So between them, they're definitely got enough for them. Do you want them each to have one at all times? Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, they, they have like um, um, half a dozen each. Okay. Half a dozen. Each. Well, so here's the thing. Um, each one of them, give. Uh, they're going to have uh, a D12 is going to be their usage die, okay? Uh, if yes. it comes up a 1 or a 2, then we're going to move it down to a D10, and then so on and so on. So whenever I call for a, a roll, um, you guys can roll basically 2D12, <laughs> all right? And okay. uh, as uh, so this way, you know, as we get closer to the end, uh, they'll, uh, they'll have less and less chance of uh, having stuff. Okay. The darkest dungeons. Yeah, um, in some ways. Also, I, I actually totally stole this from the uh, uh, Black Hack. So there's the thing. Okay. Um, all right. So you um, ascend to you know you ascend to the huge black doors that uh, that mark the entrance to the Dwimmering Mount. And uh, they're, they're huge, like impossibly tall uh, doors that stand taller than, you know, than any Earthman probably you know, ever could. You know, doors, you know, clear, you know, 20 feet tall, all, you know, with a, with a mostly flat surface, you know, completely flat. Not like a lot of times, like, cast iron will have, like, that ripple to it. You know, just completely, completely flat um, uh, doors. And they, uh, they do have some, like... Uh, really finely wrought, um, you know, uh, runes. Not, you know, I mean, I just using that word because it's what pops to mind. Um, all along the edge, you know, where the uh, the bevel, uh, the bevel of the doors sit, and then you know, large ringed hand, you know, uh, door handles. Uh, the door itself is slightly ajar, and you guys can see a whole mess of well, mess. Um, recent droppings from some sort of animal kind of make the the uh, the ledge here a little slippery. Oh god! Mm -hmm. Does um, our knowledge of the uh, um, Lurian language uh, allow us to read what's um, what's pitch on the on the? You are perfectly uh able to roll to see if you understand it sure okay. so roll a d6 and what's your tellurian at right now is it five out of six or four out of six yeah five, five out of six okay just playing the six yep the two two okay nice. so um yeah, actually, you know, you're you're not able to fill, to like create a full like na you know narrative out of what's being said here. You can't get a full um, you know um, text, Ideas. but uh, you do have some. You know, you recognize uh, you know some of the roots, uh, the root words being used. Um, uh, you uh, you know, on a closer examination, you get the feeling that these words were written after. Um, you know, other, <laughs> you know, uh, after the doors were probably even put here. Uh, and that's the, definitely not as, uh, not as old as the actual building itself. You know, these are relatively new compared to the other things. Um, you, uh, you seem to see uh, areas where um, the text has been, the initial text has been obscured and there's new text in its place. Um, there's a mention of, uh, you know, there's a, a point at which the, uh, you know, some, you're, you're guessing by context, proper names have been removed and instead the name, uh, terms, termax has been replaced. Termax. Okay. But it's, uh, like the place belongs or to that? No uh, name or uh it well it's um kind of you know it's more like you know um uh almost in a deific kind of uh uh okay. sense right so it's like like what uh, was done with the <clears throat> really last relief in Egypt that they etch uh, yes over and over uh, so they are 
in mix different uh, from different um, yes yes times. that's exactly it yeah okay mm. so Alrighty. who among you here's the questions who among you opens the doors <laughs> who among you is keeping a map <laughs> ah who would make the most sense to keep a map I have this. I have, well, I was going to say, I have writing yeah. paper and ink, you know, because uh, I want to learn as much as possible of this strange world. Okay, so Craig, you're mm -hmm. keeping the map for the group, okay? Yay. All right. Before, before going in, uh, Fonso, he, he got some oil. He just um, oil it all over oil. his body. Yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't um, know what's in and okay having right. his uh background from the uh, green room wrestling right so he doesn't yeah want it makes sense okay right? so he gonna... rubs uh, like a pint of oil or all over his body sure this is uh do you remember when we were playing axe mm -hmm. the, the muscle oil that we kept yeah <laughs> Am... yes the m4 of oil yeah Yep, yes, this is, this that was is a it. gladiator character I had that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Oh. And he tries to use the the reach of he's carrying a mole and a spear, so he's trying to use the reach of the spear to push the the, the door open. Okay. The door open. So the door descends into oh. uh, you know I'm gonna temporarily because you're in an area of natural light. Let me see. Uh -huh. Uh, I got it. Oh, cool! Yeah, here we go. Map time. Nice. Uh, the the stairs, you know, project. Uh, so you open the doors. This is ten foot squares, guys. So you open the doors, and this this really broad stairway descends, you know, thirty feet, you know, down into darkness below. So I guess no, that's good enough. Um, your tor your torch bearers strike torches, um, and we're uh, we're ready to move forward. Um, okay. All right, so I good old, the, the good old fashioned timekeeping. Um, we're going to uh, let's see here. I gotta find a thing to keep time on. All right, there we go. I go tell ahead. the torch bearers to keep away from me because I'm no right. Rival. Suddenly, you're much more flammable. <laughs> <laughs> My glistening body is flammable. All right. Well, we could in in a pinch use them as a light source. True. Very muscly light source. I mean, I was a strongman in the circus, not a torchman. <laughs> Do you have like that, that cool curly mustache? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Balder. awesome. Not if he catches on fire, he won't. <laughs> with this, this uh, I don't know how you call it. It's it is handle mustache. Handlebar. Yeah. Handlebar. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. on. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so um, you all should be able to move the token. Let me just uh -huh. see here. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, let me make sure that we're all zoomed in on the token, which should be there. Okay, let me just make sure that everybody can move the to Yeah, all players can move the token. It's kind of a jumbly token that I kind of made for like a while ago. I think it was a, in a Metal Gods game. We needed a token to represent the party. So... Um, who is the slowest among you? Uh, that is not me. Okay. It's the one thing I can do. I said, yeah. Um, well. Movement. Uh, I think my movement is pretty normal. Does anybody bear like feet? an unusually large load of stuff? I have 31 coins encumbrance. Okay, so no. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have done the weight in coins of my gear because mm -hmm. I don't know where to find that information. But yeah, I, I don't know where it is either. I don't have a whole lot of stuff. We're yeah. not going to worry about it yet. So uh, we're going to give you guys 90, okay. 90 feet of movement uh, in a okay. turn, remembering that each square is... Uh, is three feet. Uh, someone should... We'll just have someone be the designated mover, you know, for the group. Okay. Um, Craig, not you, since you're taking care of the map. Um, who yeah. is going to be the... We'll call him the caller. Good old-fashioned terms here. Yeah, yeah, wow. I guess that's uh, Gabriel? Phil or okay. Gabriel. One of the two. Yeah. Okay, I'm... 
Joel, unless you want to do it. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. Really. Okay. So you got nine awesome squares sauce. of movement in this first turn, Gabriel. And you can, you know, if you move part of it, I'll give you a description. Obviously, you need to get down to the bottom, bottom of the stairs, right? Okay. Cool. So oh, that's cool. Yeah. So the ancient and smooth worn stairs descend from these uh, these you know black iron doors uh, into. I'm sorry, they're red, <laughs> red metal doors. They're not oh. iron. I called them black earlier. That's you know, red metal doors um, into this strangely shaped entrance chamber, right? So I'm just gonna move. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna move you a little bit more towards the center so you can get a layout of the lay of the land here. Um, okay. Uh, the room has, you know, uh, five doors. I, hold on a second. Let me make sure you can see them all. Uh, you're, you're, I'll just, there's one more up, he, up here that you can see, like okay. a little bit Wait. further up that okay. way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there are there are five doors. So basically, with you guys moving around enough, you can figure that out, right? Um, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and increase your. Uh, Torch radius by ten. Okay. Because you have two link boys, right? Mm-hmm. And that'll make sense. Okay. So boom 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 boom. Alright. Um so the room contains five doors and six marble statues. All the doors seem to be made of wood. Some you know, unidentifiable wood. Uh they're reinforced with with what looks like steel. Um, five of the six statues depict distinctly male figures, uh, all in different poses. Um, all of them wearing, you know, like kind of flowy, uh, diaphanous, like toga type clothes, you know, more, uh, like what you would associate with maybe Roman or Greek antiquity. Um, and the, the, see, but they, but they all have the exact same Head and face, that of a haughty, bearded man with piercing eyes. The, uh, let's see. The sixth that statue depicts an attractive but hard-faced woman in plain garb. Mm. Sue, so, uh, go which, ahead. Which one, which one is the, the woman? Uh, bum, 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 bum. You're going to say... If, if, if that's relevant, I don't know. That one. Okay. Hmm. We'll give it an F. Yeah, I don't know if it's relevant either. Oh, okay. So there's another hallway? Well, there's doors, we right? Doors. There's there's oh, several sorry. sets okay. of doors. There's uh, one here, here, Got sorry, it. here, down here. Uh-huh. And then there's a set of double doors right there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Oh, interesting. Uh, now that uh, I asked uh, our henchmen if they know the drop ins, if um, to what creature they belong. Ah, okay. Um, you can go ahead and roll a d6 for them. Um, they're not real familiar with these. They kind of think must be some really weird creatures in here. The only thing that they can tell you that they think is likely is they think that it's probably, you know, one of the ma many types of, uh, like lizards that, uh, inhabit the area. Mm -hmm. It's got that, okay. you know, cloaca moly kind, of, kind the... of, you know, lizard dung. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not really. Um, okay. I, I say I, all the doors are closed. Yep. They don't have any marks on them. Or... Uh, well, the ones. Let's see here. Uh, no, they're actually very, very plain. Um, you get the feeling that they might have been replaced. You know, they, these might not have been the original doors that were in these rooms. Okay. Okay. Okay, the so somebody took the, the, took the trouble of um, keeping this place. I mean, 
Well, I mean, they're old. They're clearly old, but uh, mm-hmm. you know, you you based on the rumors you got before, you have the idea that this place has been you know used you know time and time again by you know generation after generation of uh, of the Tellurians before it got locked away. Okay. okay. Uh, my suggestion is to check the closest one to the to the exit, just in case. Which door are we going to? Yeah, I would I would say the south door. Okay. Okay. In case we need to throw meat shields at things and run away. <laughs> okay. So your uh, your thought here is we're going to just listen at the door. Is that the thought? Um, the statues themselves are they like facing? Any, just straight ahead, or are they pointing in they're, another direction? Uh, other than yeah, straight forward. Yeah, they're all looking fa- straight forward. The uh, the ones in the the curve here are facing inward. Like, you know what? I'm sorry. They all kind of face inward towards the central area. If you were to stand okay. like at this cross bit there, you'd be like uh-huh. you would be the focus of all of their attention. That's creepy. Hmm. Okay. Or that means that that well, uh, room is of higher importance. So sure. Leave it alone for right now. Maybe. Is Do anybody you kill... expecting inspecting them? I was thinking about that. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely check out the female uh, <laughs> statue first. Okay. Um, what are we looking for? Just uh, triggers, click buttons. Or... Uh, I just want to in, in, inspect it. Okay. Uh, because it's the only thing that's different. Mm-hmm. True. She seems to be, like I said, she's fairly plainly garbed, which is a little confusing, you know, given the uh, the the dress of the other statues. Um, you look closely at it, and it actually looks as if um, this statue, uh, like the the plinth that it stands on, um, uh, there's some cr- like it. Do- the statue doesn't match the plinth. Mm-hmm. Uh, as if there might have been another statue here replaced by this one. Right. And or. the other statues, looking closer at them, you realize that the heads have all, like, there was another head here. They've all been replaced with this identical head. <laughs> oh, hmm. Interesting. Um, maybe the... Female statue is not secure on this plinth. Maybe we could try to move it. Sure. You guys want to? Okay. Well, you see, I'm physically uh, peak. So. Yeah, this is a Gabriel thing. Yeah, <laughs> okay, Gabriel. Uh, you Which get your, one? Uh, roll 2d6. Which one? Do I have? I'm sorry. The female statue. The female? Okay. Yes. Okay, this is going to be a feat of strength. You're going to need to you're, you're going to need to roll a, a six on a d6, but you get to roll two d6, one from being a man of action and one from having a high strength. You know what? Uh, we're going to give you another one from being a, a sideshow strongman, okay? <laughs> okay. Three d6 then, okay. Mm-hmm. And you need, a, you need a six on one of those dice. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. So you uh, you grunt and you you know you you shove and uh, you know you, you swear a bit in you know the good old Romany and uh, you uh, you get it to budge just a little bit. You know maybe if you had some tools this might be easier. But as it stands, getting this off barehanded is or barehanded you know without any tools is probably not yeah. going to occur. And I have all the oil, so it's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's really it's... hard to get a handhold. Yeah. <laughs> nice try, old chap. Old dog. Yeah, this... Uh, this Tellurians build things so uh, very well. Even when they screw stuff up, they still build it well. <laughs> it seems this is true. Yeah, alien planets don't build stuff like they used to. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if one of these other heads can be removed from these other statues. The heads you're able to remove very easily. They will just come right off. Oh. Uh, that, that You have to use two hands to do it, but you can do it. Uh, I wonder if there's anything hidden inside the statues. Uh, the statues are not hollow. They are solid mm. marble. Bummer. 
Okay. Ugly buggers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not the... Not the they're, not, they're not too handsome. You can stack okay. all the heads in the center. Yeah. Really? Just in the center of the room. Yeah, why not? Okay, sure. Let's play a game of bocce. Making a little stone head. Yeah. Pile. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Arrange it in a circle to tell like celestial. Make celestial calculations. Okay, fair enough. I don't know. Just something. We'll just move it. It's Christmas. Like the heads are off. Why? Why put them back on? I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, there's, I, I'm with you. It's too much work. Okay. Anyway, I don't so these are, these are barbarian yeah. savages. I don't care. <laughs> it's a very so the Austrian doors... opinion to have. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they're less. They're less than me. Come on. <laughs> they're blue. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's head south then. Cause, okay. Because, like, we didn't find anything interesting with these other than that the heads had been replaced, which means that there was probably a change in leadership. Right. Or something. Or church or something. Yeah, where, like, the guy who was running this place was just like, oh, I'll put my face on everything now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, when they remint coins. Sure. Um... The doors themselves, they're, you said they were, they look new, or they, sorry, were replaced, probably. Yeah, or... yeah they, I wouldn't call them new. Um, yeah. I would, I would say that they, uh, they've been replaced sometime in the past. They definitely don't look original. They seem sure. to be in, you know, pretty good shape, you Certain. know, compared to something that you would expect of the immense age that mm -hmm. uh, this place has had reported to it. Interesting. And the uh, the doors, do they have locks? Uh, they just... These doors do not have locks. None of the doors in this room are uh, have you know locks on them. Interesting. But they they do have a like a handle to to open it. Yes. Ah. Okay. So, Fonzo is gonna grab the handle and try to open it. You're okay. A brave, brave man. All right. Um, you guys are going to be moving up to the door here because you know that yes. just makes sense. Of All course. Right. Uh, I need... Now, how many? I'm sorry. How many hanger-ons do we have? Uh, there's more of you, of them than you. Uh, okay. Uh, there so I think are, I missed that part. There are two torchbearers, two men at arms, and a mentalist. That's right. Okay. Wow. Okay, that is a lot so uh, in the distance, let's see here. You've got a map. map yeah, map, map. so there's a little bit of an opening over here. There's a door over here. Uh, and you guys, and then obviously it fades off to darkness further on. Um, oh, okay. Let's see here. I need to roll a thing. Okay. That Interesting. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we're good. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. So, um, you guys, um, you can hear the sounds of like a really like strange squealing come from down here, like a squealing and a snorting sound that abruptly stops. Um, after, you know, like after a few moments of the light being, uh, you know, uh, shined down this way. Sure. I wonder if those are the dropping makers. Space pigs. Space. Space pigs. Okay. Um, space oinkers. Let's keep moving. Slowly. Yeah. yeah. Torch so we'll powers go, to the, go forth. To the opening. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. All right. So you guys head to the opening. Um, the back wall is a, um, a uh, large face, like with its, you know, eyes uh, and mouth 
closed, you know, and uh, it's, wow. um, you know, it's just the entire back wall has been carved that way. You can see in the floor, there are depressions for what look to be, um, you know, like, like where maybe pews once stood. Um, like the, you know, they would, you know, the, the wooden pews might have been sunk into the floor here to keep them stationary, but they've long since been removed. I need someone to roll me a d6. I'll do it. Okay. Can I ask a question first? Yeah. Does the face on the wall look similar to the faces of the statues? No, it doesn't. Um, it is uh, a very different uh, face. I see. Um, this one is clean shaven. Um, whereas the ones in the hallway were bearded, right? Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's, you know, so there, there's a clue. There's a clue. Uh, this face appears to be younger. Um, you know, maybe a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say like vibrant, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, right. not, not old manish. Whereas the faces in there were kind of like, you know, like those old sculptures of Moses. Yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So, Phil, uh, you rolled us a d6. Yeah. Um, you are, uh, you see a collection of um, man-sized beasts that are, uh, uh, like, at the edge of the torchlight here. Um, they are... Uh, you know, like I said, they're about man-sized. They all have weapons. They're all uh, bearing uh, spears, uh, and they seem to be armored. They all have what look to be the heads of swine. Oh, nice. Space orcs. Space orcs. <laughs> Sporks. Sporks. And uh, they seem to be... Uh, like they've kind of formed a perimeter here, you know, um, and they're uh, they're ready for you guys to uh, they're you know they're ready for you guys. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Nice. That's our guy right there. That's your dude. It's Funzo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Fonzo. Oh, oh Fonzo. What a Fonzo. handsome dude. Um. Does I wait? Okay, so maybe we could try to parlay with these guys. Uh, Do they look like ferociously angry, or are they just they're just yeah? They are kind of like stomping their feet and like uh, like squealing at you, but you can't you know maybe that's just a show of strength. Sure. <clears throat> Who's gonna try to parlay with them? Uh, I kind of wanted to shoot them. Okay. But... How many do that's you count? Me. I'm sorry. Remember, Phil, violence at level one, violence isn't always the best answer. Uh, there are, you you can count at least four of them, but there are probably more. Okay. Um, hmm. I'll, I guess I can try and, but I don't want to step forward. <laughs> I'll stay behind the, the men at arms and just raise my hands with no weapons. Hello, fine gentlemen. Hello, Twimmer dwellers. <laughs> okay, you're gonna try to make friends with the space swine whose language you're not sure you speak. Okay, cool. Yeah, just Tellurian is all, all right, I know. So, so. Roll, roll your Tellurian. Uh huh. And then give me 2d6 plus your charisma. Okay. So my Tellurian is 5 out of 6. Okay. Hey, you're One. doing really good. And then my 2d6. Plus a charisma mod if you if you've I have got no it. no charisma mod, yeah. Okay. It's just an 11, so 6. Oh, man. Okay. So, um, you know, you advance a little bit for for forward and uh they start I, i'm sorry i said they have axes or spears they don't have spears they have battle axes um, okay. you get about there moving slowly towards them um mm -hmm. and they start squealing and stomping their feet a little bit more um and you know swinging you know like kind of hefting their axes of, as of getting ready to swing them but they're not making a move towards you they're kind of okay. giving you a, like a fuck off Vibe, right. you know? It seems that this space is occupied by these fine gentlemen. Perhaps we should retreat. Uh, 
Uh, I'm I'm okay with retreating. Well, where where what's what's the retreat looking like here, guys? I mean, uh, we're just like backing up out of the door. <laughs> well, well, you guys There's weren't like all the way in the door. You were kind of you were. I, I, go ahead, Gabriel. Yeah, is, is there any of, of those creatures that looks like their uh, leader? Yeah, there's one that's a bit bigger than the rest. Uh-huh. Want to challenge him to... Yeah, I can challenge him. A mustache off? Yeah. That'd be awesome. I could try to communicate that if you want. Yeah, good. Maybe... Ah, Maybe. fine pigmen. Uh... A friendly duel between my wonderful friend Fonzo and your leader. Okay, so give me two d six plus charisma again. Okay. I think I'm gonna piss them off. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Uh, they kind of laugh about it, and you know, like you're like you know, oh, big for uh, you back there, this guy fighting, you know. Uh, what, what what kind of contest are you challenging him to, Gabriel? Because he's gonna agree. Um, he, um, I'm gonna have to put down my weapons. Uh huh. I just show him my hands and do the 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 flexing pugilism. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, the gentlemanly art. Of beating each other in the face. Uh, okay, so all right, I got to give this guy a new attack form of fists. He doesn't have a fists attack yet, so yeah. let's. And that's gonna be yeah, that's right. Okay, because so, they, they probably know how to use the weapons they are wielding and. We don't. <laughs> so, all right. So here's what we're going to do. I want you to tell me, what are, the, what are the stakes? What are you going to gain if you beat this guy in, in you know, pugilistic combat? Um, that they, they won't, um, they won't attack us. Like, or is it safe, to, is safe, it safe, safe passage. passage through yeah. where they are? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um... Hmm. Like we don't want their territory. We just wanted to come and go without being, uh, without any troll. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. We can do that. We're going to move this down here because now we're in the, we're, we're going to fight in this room. Uh, okay. So first things first is we need initiative. Gabriel... We're rolling a d6. Do you have a uh, dexterity modifier? Um, no. Okay, so you're just rolling a straight d6. I got a three. So he's going to get his first swing in, um, unless you roll better than a three. Oh, you're up first. What do you got for me, man? I'm just going to try to close just... in and uppercut. Yeah, well, make this uh, this move. Just move behind him and like do the the. Like a haymaker. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll your attack. That's uh, that's D twenty. Yep. Plus oh, D twenty. So the, the so it should be plus already. six. Yeah, it should be plus six. Oh, yeah, if you're just rolling your, if you have a fists already on your character sheet, you should just be able to hit the roll twenty. I'll roll it for you. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a hit. Yeah, that's definitely a hit. Um, okay, so you're gonna roll two d6 and take the lower for damage. Okay. I'm trying to lock him in. Yeah. You know, I don't know how he's called. <laughs> he's you're trying to get like a chokehold, or yeah, like a chokehold. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. So well, no, it's three points of damage because he had oh, okay because you're gonna roll two d six and take the lower. Okay, so he's still in it, Gabriel. Um, okay, he is going to try to break your hold on him and punch you in the face. You know, like the old like Kirk blah blah, you know, kind of thing. You know. <laughs> um, I like thinking of this guy as Captain Kirk. All right. Nothing there. Oh, he hits an AC2. That yeah. definitely hits you for two points of damage. So he breaks your hold and spins around. and Oh, you know what? He does that uh, that Kirk, uh, like, but... the, the big kick, you know? like Not the drop oh, kick, okay. but, like, the, the really awkward, you know, Captain Kirk kick. All right, so new round, oh, round new round, new initiative. Kirk. He's got a four. Gabriel, what do you got for me? Okay. Well, he's, he's okay. I was uh, trying not to like, to do some little damage, something like that. Like he just kicked me. So that's that's the real. Well, that's you know. Yes, Gabriel. Oh, oh, fire, man. I'm going to give him the one, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, none of this is going to be lethal. This will all come back and rest, you know? Okay. Oh, but... okay. Kick him in the pig nuts. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, you got him. Another 2d6, take the lower. Okay. 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 All right. So, yeah, you... Uh, you you, <laughs> what, what were you going for there, Gabriel? Uh, for a one two. Okay, so um, yeah the uh, the the first punch lands firmly, but uh, he manages to sway out of the way of the second one. Um, and it's his turn, and he does this. Come on, button. I clicked you. Do it. Damn it, Don. <laughs> My lovely co-host is trying to talk to me while I'm doing this. Like, and he just asked me, "Did you just run a game?" It's like, "No, I'm freaking running one now, Don. Come on, buddy." There it is. Da -da -da. What is going on here? Okay. Um, I don't know. I've got some weird window things going on. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not. Uh, I should be uh, should be rolling this in the program. I normally would be, but um, things are lagging for me really bad. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. So I'm gonna roll it normally, and he missed. I rolled a four. Okay. So I guess I should not put those dice away because it's kind of important right now since everything's lagging really bad. Um, I've got a one on initiative this round. Oh, me too. Oh, so that's happening at the same time. All right. Okay. Uh, but I rolled an eight to hit. And I roll a ten. A ten modifier. But uh, but hits AC seven, I guess. A AC seven is l oh shoot. You know what? Everything's frozen up. Oh man. Whoa. See now oh, everything. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh no. No. Oh. <laughs> that's why everything was taking too long. Okay. Oh, you just... Sorry, guys. <laughs> did your computer have a seizure? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Uh, you'll notice a number of an automatic hits and a terrible miss. <laughs> I'm just going to clear through these. Oh, so you can delete that? Okay. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why it thought I pressed that button a billion times. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a lot of those things. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. Roll 20. Uh, shit, I kind of lost, 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 lost track of what I was doing there. You know what? Hold on a second, guys. I am just going to do the smart thing and reload roll 20. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's the thing I should do because that's the smart thing. Here we go. All right. 
I really should have thought of that earlier. Okay. Uh, folks at home, that's what you do when stuff gets really dumb. In roll 20. In roll 20. Well, in general, right? You just... In general. Just, just kick it in the ass. <laughs> oh, cat. Shut up. Okay. So spoiled. Hey, there we go. We're back. Okay, awesome. Do I still have my swine man window? I don't. Okay. Um... Swine man. Oh, now I'm I'm thinking of that oh, to the uh, snorks. Snorks. Sports. 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 Space orcs. First, space orcs. once they were a useless utensil, now they're space orcs. <laughs> the scourge of the space time. Yep. Okay, so that was a round of nothing happening. So new round and <laughs> initiative. Okay. Here we go. Boop. What I get? I got a six. All right, Gabriel, beat that. Oh. All right. Uh -oh. So he gets to Fuck. punch you first. No, work right this time. Okay, three points of damage, Gabriel. And, oh, I'm down. All right, so no. you get knocked unconscious. Yeah. I oh, I really should have figured out what their demand was, what we, what you were agreeing to, right? What would you guys have agreed to as the terms of, uh, uh, you know, should you lose? Um. Well, we should have thought of that. I guess money. Yep. We have to pay them off. Yep, I think they need to be paid off, guys. Yeah, it seems a natural. Thing. Well, I don't have any. Yeah, I have, I have some. I think. How many are they? There are there are six of them here. <laughs> like one one coin each. Yeah, they'll take that. Okay, I have eighteen silver. I can. It's just, it was my idea. So I'll pay them each a silver They're coin. Eighteen silver. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, go ahead and make a 2d6. Make your reaction roll. 2d6 plus charisma. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that. sorry. Oh, my oh. gosh. Yeah, okay. They're going to take... They'll, they'll take your bribe uh, and let you go on your merry way. Here's where you can... You are... They, uh, they, you know, they tell you, though, to go back out the door you came through. Oh. Okay. So I have to go back north. Mm-hmm. Okay, fair enough. All right, so let's. Well, that was fun. So, <laughs> our, so, okay, so he's knocked out, and we have to carry him. Yep. Back. I guess we need to rest now. <clears throat> yeah, it's about that time anyway, right? So you guys head back here. Do you do you put the door back? Yeah. 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 Close the door. Okay. Does the door open out? Question. Or in? Uh, it opens into this room. Into the room okay. that we... You are in, yeah. Yeah. So we have a handle, so we can tie a rope to the handle and to the nearest statue. And sure. they can go out. Uh, no. Um, it opens the, It opens into this room, right? Uh, so yeah, you see how the... Uh, the on the map, you see how that door is oriented, right? The uh -huh. the okay. lower side is the hinge, yeah. right? Uh -huh. So it opens into this room. So it opens into this statue over there. Oops, uh -huh. that wasn't necessary. I did the. That's not something I meant to make. Uh, I just kind of want to <clears throat> think about maybe toppling over that statue so they can't get at us. <laughs> okay. Hey, I mean, I'm, I was I'm, curious I'm, to see what was underneath it anyway. Room. Which, Coming which back statue? The rematch. Which statue? The female right? statue. No, no. Oh no, the the male statue right here. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, we haven't tried that, but we can give it a go. So the male statue is bound to the 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 plinth that it's on. It's all one oh. piece. Yeah, never mind. There's no way we're moving. It's that. gonna be stupid heavy. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna stack uh, one of the heads. Like at the door, okay. yeah. That way, it's gonna make at least a make a noise. noise. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Gabriel, at this point, let's see here. I gotta make a roll. Uh, hey. Oh, okay. 
Um, now that you guys are back in this room, uh, you notice that... Uh, sorry, I'm on the wrong layer. There we go. This door is slightly ajar. Which which one? The double the doors. Sorry, the one, the, one the double doors. Yeah, they're oh, slightly crap. ajar. Hmm. Somebody was spying on us. It wasn't that way when we came in. No. No, oh. it was not. Okay. Oh damn. Uh, okay, okay, so uh, you guys need to rest for mm -hmm. one turn for every temporary hit point that Gabriel needs to get back. How many, <laughs> how many of those do you need, Gabriel? Oh, four. Four. Okay, so it's going to be four turns. One, uh, two, three, uh... three four. Mm -hmm. And like we need minutes. to make rolls for those torches. Okay, guys? So, uh, sure. Phil... Since you are not the mapper or the caller, we're going to put you in charge of resources, okay? So uh, you have 2d12, right, for your uh, for your uh, torches. So roll me 2d12. If you get a 1 or a 2 on either one of those, they get bumped down. All right. So oh, you, nice got, you got torches going strong. Okay. Um, what's the plan now? Uh... I want to check out the double doors, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, the cut the grease. <laughs> Are you? Oh, that takes us deeper. Good friend. It takes us deeper in. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, let's do it. You guys gonna take a look at the double doors through the double doors? Yeah. Yes. All right. Move y'all. Yeah, they're up already there. open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I moved. It. Assuming that Fonzo is fully recovered now. Yeah, 40 minutes in, yeah. nothing comes back through those doors. Everything's Great. good. Okay, so All it's right. a large hallway going down, down, down. Um, Only my pride is hurt. Yep. We live to fight another day, my friend. Yeah, definitely. This is not staying like this. Okay. All right, so we see a door there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, there is a door up immediately to the north. The hallway continues on out of sight. Shall we go to the door and inspect it? Yeah, let's check it out. Hey, this is the first time you guys are actually remembering to inspect the door. Okay. Yes. Uh, who's doing that inspection? Uh, I'll inspect it. Okay. Roll me a D6. Okay. Do you have anything you think that should apply? Uh, hmm. So here's the no. thing: for a lot, <laughs> a lot of really? stuff here is going to be negotiated. If you can okay. convince me that, uh, a th and you guys know me, I'm I'm all cool with being convinced about stuff. Um, huh? yeah, anything you can convince me of, uh, you know, stands a chance of, uh, you know, working here. Okay. Did you mention earlier there was a Greek influence here? Was that the statue yeah. art, or was it something? Yeah, there's else? definitely there. Well, there's definitely art. seems to be you know something similar to uh, you know, in the statuary, familiar in the statuary, uh, okay. more like to classical Greek art. You know, uh, sculpture. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, you know, a lot of like the the um, attire that tends to be worn in the ye okay. old classical sculptures. What I recently read. Something in the Royal Society about Greek architecture. And I am keen to inspect this door with that in mind. Uh, Sorry. That's definitely oh a stretch. Okay, let me take a look here. Let me take a look <laughs> with you. Uh, now, you are a man of science. You do have, you know, above average intelligence, but not enough to influence this here. You are a member of the Royal Society, but it was the debating society. Uh <laughs> Well, I mean, oh, no. those are two it's different things. the things. Oxford Union, yeah. Yeah, two um, I, I, yeah, I, you're, I, yeah, I don't think you've got anything that's helping here. So okay. just go, roll, go ahead and roll a d6. I tried. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Two. Um, the door, let's see here. The door, uh, it's, the door. You know, it's, it's, you don't hear any sound on the other side. 
Um, you do... <clears throat> the door is not locked. Uh-huh. Um, uh, and as far as you can tell, not trapped. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know fine mechanisms here. It's basically a door. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what you discover. There is nothing cool about this door. It's just There's a door. It's special about yeah. this door. And there's no okay. lock. Yes, again, no lock on the door. All right. Either. I'm going to trust my friend here, and I'm going to open that door. Okay. Oh, my God. Boop. <laughs> All right. This room uh, doesn't... You know, a sudden rush of nothing comes out to get you. Uh, so, uh, um, this room contains empty weapon racks, but only laden uh, with dust and cobwebs. Uh, three weird bodies, um, shorter than a man, uh, lie on the floor. Um, their corpses inert. They, uh, um, they, you know, they seem to be leaking still. Of a fluid of some kind, um, and there's an occasional like, spark that comes off of them, right? Uh, looking down, uh, you know, you get you, uh, Kingsley. You kind of crouch down a little bit and see that uh, their surface, you know, their, their skin, um, you know, has a, uh, a you know a rubberish kind of quality to it. You know, they're, mm. they seem to be manufactured out of like a you know, uh, differing shades of, uh, like a, a rubberish material, um, plastic existed at this point, right? So something like mm-hmm. plastic yeah. with, um, some metal, like, uh, visible metal parts as well. Um, uh, they, there's some last flickerings of lights, but, uh, you could tell that these automata, you know, they've, they've clearly been destroyed. Um, you guys don't have a word for robot. Um, no, we do. One clutches a battle axe, and the other two cra- uh, carry spears and shield shields. Indeed. All three wear chainmail and have backpacks. Do they have pig heads? They do not. Uh-huh. No, they do not. Would the chainmail fit a uh, uh, normal human-sized person? Ah, uh, yeah. So, um, it. You know how uh, we joked around about the chainmail bikinis and stuff like that? Uh, this would be like a chainmail midriff shirt. Awesome. Yeah, for you guys. I'm going gonna, gonna to wear a chainmail midriff shirt, and I'm going to go through their bags. Okay. That is metal. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, you know, all, so all three do, like I said, all three carry chainmail or wear chainmail. Okay. Um, the, uh, the Each one also has 50 feet of rope. And wow. some rations. Nice. Okay. Give you that uh, up to the henchman. I say we each take a backpack, fifty feet of rope, and the rations. Does, um, do you guys have backpacks okay. yet? I have no. a backpack. <laughs> okay. You suddenly have something to keep all your shit in. Um, okay. I'll take yeah. Like, well, considering all I had was a water bottle, a pistol, and a sword. Yeah. So you guys and, like the harness. This is uh, so. Here's how I want you to keep track of the rations. This is D8 worth of rations. Okay. Now, if I purchased some rations already, is that... If you already seven? have rations, uh, how yeah, many days of rations did you have? Five. Five. Okay. So you had D12 worth of rations. So keep okay. D12 and D8 separate. All right? Thank you. I got two provisions. You have two days? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Provisions. So that's I, a D6. Right? D6. Okay. Okay. Phil, you had none, right? No, I had four. Oh, it's a good thing. Oh, okay. Four days? Yeah. Okay. Um That's so a that's I a D eight. So I've got D sixteen then? We've got... No, just keep track of it separately. Wait. You just got a D eight, right? I'm sorry, okay. and you got a D ten. So you, you had a D ten and you got another D eight. So keep track of it separately, okay? Okay. okay. We'll and keep... there was two ropes right well three two sets of rope. three sets three. three sets of 50 feet feet with a rope um I'll take one. And the, the one wielding an axe um his pack also contains an odd cylindrical wine skin with a strange you know uh uh diagram on it it's kind of like stained with ink 
uh, to, you know, and you know, it's 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 got this pattern tooled into the leather. Uh, Fascinating. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll have to inspect that. I have rope, so if anyone, we give one of to the to one of the henchmen. Okay. Okay. All right. Maybe the mental. The henchmen are starting to grumble a little bit that you haven't found any treasure yet. You know. <laughs> this is wonderful treasure. What's wrong with you? Well, there's the, the, one of them. Two of them doesn't have any any. The torch bearers doesn't have any armor. Right. So if they want to don the the chainmail, yeah, hmm. I guess they could. I okay. wonder if these. Automaton have a power source I could use for my devices. Oh, you 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 want to like split them or yeah, on it. tear them open. See if I can find yeah. a battery or something I can use for my ray gun. Yeah, okay, I can help you. To... I mean, you know, I'm not like tearing into it. I'm just kind of prodding with my hands and looking inside. What the heck happened here? Hold on a second, guys. Their bodies. Okay. Okay, I screwed. You lagging out again? No, I uh, I screwed up names on guys, so it. <laughs> okay. I so... named uh, I named a torch bearer uh, the name of one of the hench or the mercenaries or the men in arms, and I did the same thing to his opposite number, so I just have to switch swap some names around here. Okay. So now they're all logical. Okay, cool. Um, so would it count as a metal war bikini? Uh, it's it's an AC five. Okay. Close enough. Yeah, that's what I got. <clears throat> the 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 ornate harness that's what it keeps, right? I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, six. Ornate oh, harness is six. six. And I got bracers. Okay. Right. That's like a harness, but also like Mr. T necklaces. Easily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wonder Woman bracers. Wonder Woman bracers. <laughs> and the lasso of truth. So the, this, this, uh, these automatons, they are. They resemble these uh, blue creatures, the blue men. Yeah, only in form. Um, you know, they're they're roughly humanoid. They, they look as much like you as they do look like the blue men. Um, okay. They they have uh, you know uh, you know facial features. You know, uh, they look a lot like the. Did you ever see the Will Smith iRobot? Mm -hmm. They look a lot like that. Ah. Okay. Just a little bit beefier forms and short. So I asked the, our henchmen if they they if they have seen these uh, the things before Roll or me they know D six who, who make who make those. Uh, okay. This is your conversation roll. <laughs> They're like screw you. Oh nice. yeah, you're having a really hard time communicating yeah. the ideas. Here. Oh yeah, oh, language my. is the only thing that works the opposite way. Uh, oh, that's right. That's so right. Okay. yeah, they uh, they're like they yeah, well, like. Well, uh, what are you talking about? The spork yeah. beat you too hard, and I yeah, they don't make any sense. Yeah, stop <laughs> slurring your words, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, is there a power source in these things that I could use for my devices, or is that way, like way out of my uh, league? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a science roll here, and I will even give you an extra die. So go ahead and roll uh -huh. me two d six. Your success number here is going to be six, though. Nope, I can't find anything. Yeah, um, you're pretty sure that they're that uh, the in 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 your terms, <laughs> you're pretty sure that uh, whatever you know uh, uh, electrochemical pile you know uh, contains their the last drops of their electrodyne mm -hmm. essence has uh, long since waned. Indeed, uh, you know it's it's unlikely that they carry a sufficient charge to be able to assist your devices. Still quite fascinating. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you can get some ideas. Mm -hmm. 
a I planet mean, if, or if, man, if, if, if you are if you have a uh, like pen and ink you can yeah i'm sketching yeah okay cool sketching. i'm da vinci style drawing yeah. i will be uh, inspired to create my own friends of metal and rubber okay. so, uh, <laughs> friend is, uh, Dissecting and drawing the, the automatons. Let's uh, see what's... So wait, they had spears, right? Yep. And oh. battle axes. Well, one had a battle axe. Uh, one, spears yeah, one and had shields a axe. or and a battle axe. So, Phil, you can also put a shield if you uh, wanted. Apparently, one had a thermos. Not yeah, that we know yeah, what a thermos yeah. Is. No, that's exactly it. He has a thermos that okay. is like... Uh, it has like... Uh, looks like somebody used a really cool like CNC router on the outside or something and it's got this really cool you know pattern on it but that pattern nice. is completely like it's just coated in ink uh, right. not the okay. not the grooves of it but like the outside yeah okay. I'm gonna grab one of the okay what did you say Phil um, I'm gonna grab the shield okay uh, can I look inside the thermos yeah, um, it contains uh, something like uh, you're like kind of see it, you know, something dark in there swirling around. Um, mm. You know, you, you know, sniff it, and it seems to be like some kind of machine oil. Ah, good to know. More oil for you, Mister Fonzo. <laughs> yeah, not this oil. This is like machine oil. This is yeah, this is, yeah. This, this is, is not dirty. spreading on your your man pecs. This is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is not what it's this like, oil is for. Excellent. Not man pet oiling. No. Type of oil. This is for your motor vehicle. That's awesome. All right. Okay, okay, so I have a thermos full of oil. If the if any henchman wants to uh, equip with a weapon, they I, I get one one of the spears. You're gonna um, okay, yeah. Uh, let's see, who doesn't have a spear? Let me take a look. Uh, the guys they have dagger and axe. The other one has a oh, dagger, dagger and so a crossbow. Maybe... Yeah. So the guy uh, oh. Goldick is gonna take a spear. Gold. That's, the one, that has, uh, that's one of the torchbearers, right? No, no. He's uh, one of the men at arms. He's the guy with the crossbow. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, crossbow and dagger. He has right. Yep. Denton has the dagger and the long sword. He's, you know, you're more, tra you're more traditional style, you know, blue Tellurian. All That's right. Fight, <clears throat> so what's up next, guys? Hey, we're checking the door. Okay, who's checking okay. the door? Who's taking the lead on the door? I do. Okay, roll me a d6. Four. This door seems to be as unremarkable as the last one. Okay. So I push it open. Okay. Uh, the door, the room beyond. Let's see here. Let's give you a look at it. Boop. Uh, you know, this oh, wow. large room beyond. Uh, it contains nine apparatuses. Um, each one holding a short sword and a shield. The western wall is, and they're kind of, they're vaguely man shaped. Uh, the western wall is a, uh, has a bronze plate, is basically a big bronze plate with large, you know, levers, um, nine large levers on, uh, along its, I'm oh, sorry, 10 large levers along its length. Um, these are those big, cool, like Frankenstein's lab switches, you know? Um, uh, or more like, more like a, like an old steamships, you know, uh, control, you know, like the, the, you know, full speed throttle. ahead throttle. Yeah, there you go. And they're all in a middle position right now. This appears to be a training room with, with, uh, battle dummies controlled by these levers on the wall. Uh, so they're inactive right now. That's they're right. not moving. That's right. Okay. Um... Might have to. My curiosity might get the best of me. Might have to go pull some lever. <laughs> it's fascinating. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna hang out at the doorway if he's gonna be pulling levers that we don't understand. 
How many levers are there? Uh, ten. So there's nine dummies and ten levers. Obviously, the tenth one activates them all simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take the... I, I want to... So yeah, if if, 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 does each lever look the same? Are they positioned in the same way on the wall? Yes. And do they seem to have just two options up and down? Or is there anything in the middle? Or... Uh yeah, I mean like I was saying it's like a like a throttle. Throttle. Okay, I'll take the first one and slightly I'll move it ten degrees up, I guess. I'm not sure what position it's in. Okay, uh go ahead and roll me a uh D ten. Uh oh. You die in electric fire. Eight. Eight. Okay, so one of the the uh, things the um, the apparatuses just comes to life and starts waving around its sword and its shield. Um, roll me. Let's see here. Someone's gonna be closest to it. So um, there are five henchmen. Three of you guys. Roll me a d8. <laughs> Jeez, please. Okay. Eight. <laughs> oh man, uh, I'm gonna read this in the order on roll twenty. So six is Fonzo, seven is Kingsley, eight is Osterhagen. Phil, it's swinging at you. What's your armor All class? Right. Uh, shit. It is five. Five. Okay. So that means this thing needs to get a fourteen or better to hit you. Damn it. Come on. Well, can I turn it off? <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Osterhagen. <laughs> Osterhagen oh. gets okay. impaled right on this thing. Damn it. Uh, and oh, no. Now... I turned it off. I turned it off. Yeah. Now, Osterhagen was very clear that he was back by the door when this happened, he right? Did. He so did this thing is that. now blocking the door. Ugh. Can I turn it off? Uh, you just start switching the thing up and down, and it just keeps moving in different ways. Um, you're going to have to figure something else out. Oh, no. Oops. I... Hmm. Can I, can I tackle the thing? A rugby tackle on the, on the floor. <laughs> just to keep... Well, hold the on. Um, the... Uh... Shit. Uh, as you guys are uh, are in here, right? Um, what was that? Oh shit! Okay, uh, you um, you can see uh, these glowing forms show like kind of flood the room beyond the the uh, room sixteen since you see that there are room numbers. Um, uh, the small, low to the ground, maybe maybe a you know, 18 inches above the ground, you know, up, you know, uh, off of it, up to 18 mm -hmm. inches above the ground. Um, you know, th th these, these weird little forms, uh, you know, uh, with like a, um, you know, kind of an insectoid chittering and they are, you know, they're starting to come into the room. What? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um... So here's the thing. We're going to roll initiative. Phil, here's the good news. We've got men in arms. We've got torchbearers. We've got a mentalist. So you're not without stuff to do. Okay. Man, <laughs> Craig killed me. I Craig killed you. I'm did sorry. kill you. Yes. I yes. I controlled Craig's character in RuneQuest and did fairly well. <laughs> and Craig just fucking killed me. I did. I I I, I own that shit. Yep. My bad. Oh man. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, you can be sorry. Like, hopefully these <laughs> things will kill you. I think I'm gonna die, so if that makes you feel better. Um, yeah, a little. Okay. <laughs> Wait, do we have a healer of any kind? Uh, no. Nope. Nope. No. Okay, that's not good. All right. Uh, initiative then. Mm-hmm. Uh, the last thing to go will always be the uh. 
whirling dervish. Whirling dervish. Okay, yeah, the the robo dervish. All right. So, okay. you, uh, who's rolling for you guys? Phil, why don't you roll? Okay, I rolled a five, but no big deal. Oh, you did roll a five. I'm sorry, I, yeah, I didn't yeah. see that. Okay, so never mind. We can we can keep that five. Sure. Uh, what do you guys? So you guys have the initiative. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do this old fashioned way. We're gonna do this in phases. Um, I should have asked if there was anything I needed to know, like axe style, before we got started. Um, ranged weapons, ranged attacks. What do we got? I'm gonna shoot my ray gun at the whirling dervish. Okay. Uh, the ray gun is just an automatic hit, right? And does D10 damage? Yes. All right, roll it. Eight points of damage. Oh, okay. So, uh, your ray gun shoots the thing. Uh, sparks fly off of it, and it slows down, but it's still uh, wobbling. Um, okay. What's up next, guys? Okay. I got a spear. I got to throw it to one of these uh, insect toys that are coming. Coming through the from... door? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Nothing. It clatters on the floor. Yep. So it, it just kind of... The, uh, the, the ray gun shot thing just kind of flails you know uh and and knocks it out of the way all right uh you guys do have a henchman with a uh crossbow phil you want to bring him up i think you guys can control him that's goal mat um nope that is a torchbearer not goal mat it's the other one goldick is goal mat's brother Okay. Uh, oh my god, what just happened? Where's his stuff? Okay, so crossbow. Um, he's probably gonna shoot at the big thing that just killed a guy. <laughs> okay. Is there. You you just yeah just click it. You don't have to add anything. What's rolling? Okay, yeah, he misses. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So range. Dang. The uh, the be the beetle thingies don't have a range. The robot doesn't have a range. The combat robot doesn't have a range. Um, let's see. They can they can throw a dagger. The ones that have a dagger. Yeah. If they want. If they, if want, they to. want to. Yeah. Phil, what do you think? Are they throwing daggers? Sure, why not? Okay. Because they nobody wants to get close to this fucking thing because it just killed yeah. somebody. There, there were three spears. I got one, Goldig one, another. Maybe Goldman. Goldig just got... shot the crossbow. Yeah, but Goldman, he had a chain and dagger. He could just get a spear too. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, but he is not a combatant. Okay. All right, so uh, this other dude, Durton. Mm -hmm. Denton? Uh, he's good. What does I say, Durton? Dead? Yeah, it's Durton. Dur You're right. You're right, Durton. Uh, he's going to throw his dagger at the big wobbly guy. Okay. Oh. And hits for two points of damage unless this guy's got a zero. That's all. Oh, uh, that's all it takes, man. It, uh, you know, the that last dagger just, you know, <clears throat> hits the thing and uh, sparks fly off, and uh, you know, th it stops moving. Yay. All right. Now at this point in time, these crazy fire beetles are starting to flood into the room. I'm going to move you guys back a little bit because I think you're smarter than that. Um, and uh, so there are fire beetles coming into the room. Um, I rolled. Uh, is anybody has? Is there anybody who hasn't gone? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, there is. There's the mentalist, right? Ah, oh, yeah, the mentalist. Larbix. So Larbix, uh, I mean, he does have his mental power of somnolence that he could use here. Okay. 
with the fire beetles, with the beetles. Mm -hmm. or... I mean, he could. She loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, let's do it. Somnolence on the beetles. And how many beetles are there exactly? Uh, there's a bunch. Five. More a bunch. than five. More than five. <laughs> yeah. All right. Like so five. he's gonna cast his spell. He puts twelve hit dice to sleep. That is all of them. Stomp them. Right. Yeah. Crush. Uh, so the cool thing is, is when you stomp them, uh, they get their cool beetle juices, um, all over your boots, um, and your boots now glow. Awesome. Nice. Free light source. Yeah. Um, my we dear friend, Austin. Over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> My foolish ways has ended in his demise. Uh, can we take we, him with us? Do you think we can, like, maybe some art of the alien life here can bring him back to life? Uh, that's probably not happening. Um, yeah. Phil, do oh, you no. want to take over Larbix? No. I'll roll a new character when we get back to... Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, so, blue man. Uh, remember that we have all of Osterhagen's, Osterhagen's uh, uh, stuff as well. So what's the plan from here on in, guys? We should go back to town. Yeah. And, and give him a, a burial. Drop. Yeah, we've lost one of our own today. Yeah. Okay. Um... These dudes are not going to be happy. They didn't get paid. Well, so the thing... Is, you're right. They are not going to get happy. And you guys have less money to pay them next time they come out. Uh, so, let's see here. Getting out of the dungeon. Let's... All right. And this... Well, they got better better gear than they... Yeah, they just got some yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's true. Um, the, the, the mentalist uh, is the one that... Uh, Maybe you can bribe him with the thermos. Maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So you guys are just taking off. Is that the plan? Well, yeah, we need to bury our friend. Bury a friend on the Martian soil. Uh, all right. So cool. Well, that's our first session of Dwemer Mars. Nice and deadly, <laughs> exactly as predicted. You guys yeah. kind of, you know, take your time getting out. Uh, is is there any uh, like uh, in in town in the town like warriors, uh, like like a group of warriors, like a cast of warriors? Um, all Martians, or sorry, all Tellurians are warriors. All yeah. of them. Uh, so we we we, uh, we ask them since uh, our friend, our dead friend, he was uh, in the military. If they they can give him a um, a warrior's uh, funeral. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, they'll uh, you know. They'll see to it, but it's going to take... You're going to have to uh, spend some money to get it done. Um, okay, so, uh, Craig, do you, do you take? did you draw a map for us? Yes. Can you go ahead and... Uh, can you take a picture of your map and share it with us? Sure, hold on. How do you do this again? Share desktop. Um, you can... Uh, it's, uh, here, there. The screen share thing. They yeah. They, take, they took that screen. away. No. Yeah. They share screen. Yeah. All right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five rooms on the map. Um, sorry. Hold on just a minute. I need to make sure I know how much they're going to pay you for the map. Right? 
So you're going to get money just for, you know, or I'm sorry, are you going to, you have the option to sell the, you know, your map progress to other people. Okay. All right. So uh, that, the good news there is that that will get you money. Okay. Sorry. And I can make a copy of it, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I know this is in here somewhere. Maps. There we go. Uh, all right. So it's 10 gold pieces per room. So that's 50 gold. Awesome. All right. So Whoa. you guys get 50 gold. Right? Okay. okay. We can pay 20%. Well, so 20. Well, it's 20% of your share, Gabriel. So that's 20% of 25, right? So that's. Uh, what five five gold? Five gold. So you pay five mm-hmm. gold to what's his name? Uh, and he's Narvix. he's not he's he's not happy, <laughs> but uh, he's uh, it's all a bust. Yeah, he's got um, five gold he didn't have before. Um, let's see here, Phil. You want to go ahead and roll your new character? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I put the Sorry. I put the roll my PC macro in the uh, in the bar should be there for all of you guys. Sorry, sorry, my curiosity got the best of me. Phil, that is oh, the worst fuck. character I've ever seen. Okay, uh, you can Wait, keep him. Oh yeah, re-roll that shit. You can keep him, or you can re-roll him. Remember that if you keep him, you'll get three additional. Uh, uh, whatever those things are, the affiliations. Affiliations, yeah. <clears throat> that's, I don't know. That's pretty weak. Yeah. I think, I think Brasco should take this card. <laughs> <laughs> that's better. Yeah. They're... Yeah, that's a pretty average person. You'd get one. Uh, you're gonna take one. Uh, you're gonna get one additional affiliation from that low intelligence. Um, what kind of character is this going to be, Phil? I have no idea. I gotta figure that out. Okay, cool. Um, so... A scientist killer. The, ba- <laughs> 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 the bad news for, uh, for Phil is the good news for Brasco and Gabriel. Um, you guys are going to get 700, or sorry, 475, uh, XP for your, um beetle fighting and oh you know what that's not right i'm sorry hold on a second it is wrong because i forgot to count something in here so this is this is this is O D and D style experience and uh it's basically kind of designed to get you through the first low levels really fast to kind of get you to the hero tier right so that's divided by five <clears throat> One, no, 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 no. It's four, eighty. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit different. So, uh, oops, times two plus twenty-five. So, Brasco, you're at three eighty-five, three hundred eighty-five experience. Mm-hmm. Gabriel. You're at 380 experience. Okay. And then... Uh, what's his butt? The other guy um, is at 185. So, Larbix. So you guys can bring Larbix on adventures with the same terms you did before. Okay. Uh, but we lost everybody else. Well, you can you can rehire them. Um, okay. You're gonna have to make a roll for each of them. Sure. Okay. okay. Uh, so, guys, don't forget that there were Osterhagen's uh, possessions as well. Um. That Phil can take. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, I'm not doing anything with those. Yeah. So giving them to Phil's new guy. Okay. Um. So yeah, we're 
we're good, I think. Um, anybody have any business they need to conclude now? Nope. No. Phil? I no longer have business. <laughs> you gotta, no, think of it. You have a whole new set of business. Yeah, but I gotta figure out what that business is. Yeah. True. Well, I mean, looking at this character, there's a couple of different directions you could go. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, you could have a mentalist. This guy's wisdom is, uh, you know, average. Um, he's he could be a man of action. You've got good strength and dexterity. Um, if you choose to be a man of action, how does that work again? If you want to be a man of action, you can trade in. I'm trying to find how this pans out. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't work here for you. That's not working in your favor. Um, I was trying to see if you, like, some versions of OD&D let you, like, reduce certain ability scores to increase other ones. Uh, I think they do. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if that's in the rules that I'm relying on here, and I'm not seeing it. Of course, I could be looking in the wrong place. I remember using the house rules, lowering two and from one and raise one on another on the other. Right. Yeah, and that's pretty common in OD&D. &D. Uh, let me see if that's in... Nah, I'm not gonna... Well, you can. Oh! Uh, you're, a, you're a Tellurian, right? You're a Tellurian... Uh, so you get to add one to, to one ability score of your choice. Add what? One to an ability score? To any ability score. Okay. I'll think about it. I gotta... I gotta figure them out. Sure you do. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so... Oh, don't forget to apply your bonuses to experience if you've got them. Um, yeah. And oh, okay. that's it. That was our... Oh, Phil's changed his name to Dead Guy. <laughs> I'm not going to hear the end of this for a while. No, no. No, no. Because no, I did nothing there to justify my death. No, it was totally... I killed myself. I'm totally happy with it. I'm fine with it. Yeah, that was totally accidental. But I was place. very adamant about not touching those switches, and I was like, I don't want any part of this. You're right. Yeah, and, and you he killed said he, and I'm I keep, said, I'm nope. stayed near the door, and he said he... Yeah, That's it was true. coming back. I, I, I'm not denying that. <laughs> <laughs> Next time... Let's make sure, before we let Craig mess with anything, he's the only person... <laughs> Craig's not allowed to touch anything next time. <laughs> oh, man! Uh, we're gonna make My a bad, dude. Folder. My bad. My okay. bad. I won't kill your character again, I promise. That's not a promise my you guy... can keep, man. No, it's no, really it's not. not. <laughs> it's really not. Uh, and, well, I mean, my guy's only got one hit point, so he's gonna die, probably. So... That makes you feel better. <laughs> Maybe it will. Maybe it will. <laughs> we'll have to Don't wait and see what happens when, when, Don't it, when kill we get me. there. Uh, no promises. Uh, okay, no promises. Fair enough. That's, that's Fair the enough. thing. No promises. I mean, think, think, treat, feel feel like this is like a DCC adventure, right? I mean, this yeah. is totally like, you know, our off night, you know, uh, sure. uh, our off night game. So don't... Uh, don't take it too seriously. So yeah. this is more about exploring a dungeon and having fun with it. Um, yeah. Cool. So Sorry, what do you guys? I can't help myself. So what do you guys think about Dwemer Mount? It's pretty weird. Side. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I mean, because weird. like big man and automatons and. Switches okay. that you kill your friends with. Well, so the switches that you kill your friends with, James totally wrote that. I had nothing to do with that. That's all him. Uh, yeah. The uh, the. I mean, how automata, we didn't find that? How we didn't find the fire? The the, the I, I keep saying fire beetles. The, the beetles in the. They were in the automatons. No, Maybe. no, they came in from the hallway while you guys were messing around with the levers. 
Oh, okay. So, let's see. That was like a wandering encounter, essentially. Yeah, yeah because you mm -hmm. made a lot of noise. <laughs> well, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Shit. Oh, maybe yeah, they, were, they, they were worth anything. So, those, uh, those beetles. Well, so we're using um, real old school style experience, like like O D and D, you know, uh, you know L B B style experience, which is it's one hundred per hit die, um, for anything that's the same or greater level than you. So each of these fire beetles at one hit die, they're worth a hundred XP until you hit level two, then they're worth. 50 XP until you hit level 3 okay. and there were 33. So mm -hmm. I have to keep track of how many hit dice things have, uh, you know, independently. Um, and so. was, the, was the training robot not worth I anything? I did factor in the training robot, yep. Okay. Curious. Sorry, Phil. Eh. <laughs> I mean, to be uh, training robots, they're pretty deadly. They mm -hmm. can, no shit. Uh, <laughs> we can take the swords and put wooden swords on them. Yeah. Well, they're not exactly functioning properly, you know? No. Apparently, so. not. <laughs> <laughs> apparently not. And they're actually pretty easy to hit, you know? So then. You know, yeah. All they're armed with is a shield, so they have no actual armor. I'm true. Cool. Okay. All right. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, that was a cool little thing. So, uh, the beginning of the sessions, here's how we'll do this. Uh, beginning of the sessions, we'll handle, like, uh, if anybody does any carousing, stuff like that. Um, we'll, you know, which, obviously, you don't have the money to do now, but maybe in the future. So, um, we're, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, you guys can handle okay. everything, you know, uh, you can handle any you know, equipment purchases in between uh, sessions, uh, any kind of uh, carousing we'll do at the beginning of the session so we know where everybody's starting. Okay? Fair okay. enough. And if anybody gets stuck, if you, we end a session for some reason in the dungeon, um, I don't know if you guys ever saw this, but over on Jeff Reince's blog, um, Jeff's game blog, mm -hmm. he did this thing forever ago where um, it's a table of... Uh, what happens when you end the session in a dungeon? And it's a D thirty okay. table, and cool. it's it's the 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 weird or strange or bad or good thing that happens to you thereafter, so that you can start the next session in town. Uh, to keep it low commitment, <laughs> I just figured that's okay. a good idea. All right. Okay. Well, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna call it there, guys. I'm gonna just stop the stream. Thanks for joining us, folks. Now, the folks at home noticed me messing around a lot with some extra stuff on the side. Don't, don't worry. These guys is pretty heads about it. Uh, obviously, I was I was more testing some things than uh, than you know. Um, than trying to use those things uh, in the game. So um, uh, next week, I think we're doing RuneQuest, though, right? So we're back to RuneQuest next week, uh, and then we'll just we'll play Dwimmer Mars next time. We're not. Okay. 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 Well, you gents, have a great evening, Phil. Uh, yeah. I did not. Cheer I did up. not see your character being the first one to die. So congratulations. Um, <laughs> You, yeah, have, you have thanks. you have some cool stuff though. <laughs> As a result, you have some you have some cool kit. Uh, maybe Phil, your new character is one of those warriors whose job it is to uh, to lay Osterhagen to de to rest. Right? Maybe that's the, maybe that's where your character comes from. You know, he's a huh. you know that that'd be a fun fun concept. So anyway, I'll let you ruminate on it. We got we got plenty of time. Uh, Gabriel, great character, love. Thank you. Weird, you know, <laughs> Fonso's just a weird guy. I love him. Uh, and uh, uh, Craig, good job killing another PC. I'm uh, not responsible for it. It's no, all you. Uh, gents, have a great night, and we'll see you next time.